Ahoy! It's me, Straw, from the Mighty Battle Hammer, saying hello to all of you out there. Hope you're all well today. Now you may notice I'm on my own. Yeah, now well that means trouble with a capital T. No, it doesn't. It means I've got a little something to show you. Ooh, uh, Mrs. Um, this arrived in the post. It's a box. I know, uh, yes. 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 Having to pay customs fees. Ooh, it's going to be worse with Brexit. Anywho, in this box, I believe, I hope, are some miniatures from our dear old friends over at Demented Games at um, Twisted. Hopefully these should be some new, new minis for us to have a little preview, a, pro, a play and a bit of a mess around with. So look, got a knife, it needs all opening, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hoof the box open. And then what we'll do, I've got the smaller camera, always cut away from yourself, smaller camera set up just here. And I'll be able to show you all of the detail. Now I've seen uh, pics of all the renders and all the other bits and pieces. So I'm expecting some glorious work because the stuff always is very, very pretty. And immediately as I open this, I better put some glasses on because I can't see a bloody thing. Already this one little thing that the guys do that I always love. Yes, a little little handwritten post-it note just to say thank you. I love all that stuff. It's a little thing, but I love it. Enjoy the new mini, Sebastian. Well, Seb, let's have a little look here, shall we? So, what have we got in here? Yeah, so what we've got, I'll quickly show you the things and then I'll go to the smally stuff. So to start with, there are you'll be going what's going on here you say these are two from the egyptian faction the skions of the sand a scarab mummy ooh, and a rotten mummy and the first thing i've noticed about these miniatures is they appear to be of a new resin which if i just refer to an email i got from the guys is they are casting by magos miniatures it's a small boutique in uh, Northern Australia, Australia, um, where, oh, oh, I must say, um, which is easier for them because it's more, it's closer to them, so it's all, oh, these are very, these are very pretty. So these ones are the Guild of Harmony, which is a faction of good chaps. I did not see that one. <laughs> uh, faction of good chaps. Uh, you get all the things like the Mary, Mary Poppins and all of the like, monkey and all of the good stuff are in the Guild of Harmony. Now there are one, two, three, four, five major minis for this release for this Guild of Harmony, and they are the um, <laughs> the Oz faction. What you say? Yes. So we have got basically the Wizard of Oz. So you've got Dorothy, you've got the Tin Man, and you've got that. There's variations on those. So what I'm going to do now is turn on little camera. He says if you can remember how to work the damn thing. That goes like that. That twists there. That's that. A bit press the on button, I suppose. Right. So let's just start with with these ones. Scorns of the Sand. So, Bosch, Rotten Mummy, and do 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 the the the, 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 the what is the other oh, Scarab Mummy? As you can see, they're a nice looking um, resin. The only way you tell if they're nice or not is to crack them open. So, open this one first, the Rotten Mummy. As usual, you get your little, uh, oh, where are you there? Oh, well, there you are. Your stack card and your card with the art on which you need for uh, activations in the game. That being said, we've got to get back and play it again. It's so, such a good little game. 
Now, so let's have a little looky here. Now, as usual, the sculpting is bloody and amazingly incredible. And I'll tell thee what, this does not appear to be bad resin, you know. You always tell good resin, because when you get the little dangly bits, see how fragile and wobbly they are. I'll tell you what, these are pretty solid. Hold the detail well. So those arms will go there, he says, wrong way around, there, Brrr. that is really impressive resin, that's the little one, let's have a look at the bigger one, come on out, damn you, so again the scarab money, where's the bloody camera, oh it's there, the scarab mummy card, Scything claws, ripping claws, acidic gob. Hello. Yes. Oh, lots of nice abilities. I like stuff like that because he's going to be quite scary. And again, you know. Brr, oh, wrong help. Brr, brr. Lovely art. Lazy because you're not colouring them in, boys. Just so you know. Lazy. So again, another load of resin so again it's got the typical cyberpunky bit where it's got it's weird and wonderful um engine system -y thing. oh hello now again i'm just gonna see if you can see if he says try to keep in front of the bleeding camera look at the detail on that and again it's, I mean, the head is on here, and it's on a single piece here, but what we'll do is, top knot, okay, it's going to be fragile. Nope. That is not fragile at all. And the detail on, that's very mum ra that is. mum ra Again, very pretty. Oh, here we go. Scythes, no, there. A lot more solid than I was expecting. And you know what it's like, we've all messed around with resin haven't we and there's so much of it it's very very good and some of it which is like ooh ooh flimsy but these oh my god he's got wings oh of course because he's a scarab he's a scarab mummy a monster scarab mummy brr again that is really really crisp detailing on that oh oh I can't wait to paint these oh so that's the scarab. I mean, the detail on the wings. Beautiful. So that's a scarab mummy monster thingy. And he's on a big round base. So let's go with Dorothy, shall we? Oh, she was rescued from the London node, triggered by Fagin. Oh, no, she's caught in the blast from it, twisted into a younger form of herself. I love the story. Love the story, which means you've got to pull your fingers out, guys, and get an RPG sorted because the story behind this, and this is just a miniatures game, the story behind this is just awesome. So, I oh, need a typical tester. So, little Dorothy, again, very, very pretty. Again, very fine detail. That is really holding the detail well. Especially when you can see that's a very small mini as well. And see her cabling that goes from a gun to her backpack. Again, is a good, solid piece of casting on that. But, I mean, you can see the detailing from there on the fur on her arm guards is just really really pretty that is absolutely beautiful very swish indeed the, the detailing on these are really good uh, Pascal the lion I wonder if he's meant to be the lion man <laughs> because he is 
So again, so again, he is a bit of a drunk, I believe, this one, because he's got a tankard in his hand, he's wobbling about, big old barrel that goes on the back as well, and again, the detail on it is really, really pretty. God, that's a good old tash he's got going on there. And another thing I've noticed in the what just his first one, two, three, four that I've opened, um, I'm not seeing a lot of stuff that needs cleaning up. I am not seeing a lot of stuff that needs cleaning up at all, in fact. So. Oh god, that bit's the front of the lion mask, actually goes on to the helmet, ugh. Oh, that's, again, very crisp. I am really impressed with this new mould company, this uh, new, their new resins company. Excuse me while that's with a tea. So, Toto. <laughs> Oh, so Toto is obviously um, Dorothy's pup, and I say pup, it's not, I like what it says on here. Purchased by the guild uh, as a guardian for the newly transformed young Dorothy, Toto is a stout and stalwart defender, loyal to a fold with powerful jaws, able to crush iron like cardboard. <laughs> His cunning manufacturer allows him to create smoke grenades to befuddle those who he seek to harm Dorothy. Love it. Now I hadn't seen the picture of this one. So again, the two cards you need. Colour them in your lazy sods. And what does he look like? Oh again. And once again, I am really struggling. Oh my good golly. I don't know whether you can see this on there, but in there, in the detailing, there's like a petrol gauge. And in here, there's an actual, you can see an actual clock inside the actual workings of his front leg. This one says five to eight. I wonder if that's particular. And again, the, oh, now look at the head. Look at his little head. He's got, he's got, he's got an actual tash, and a little helmet with the little cyberpunky goggles. And again, I'm looking. I am desperately looking for something to clean up. Oh, there's a tiny mould line there. Oh, he's got a monocle. Of course, because why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he want a little monocle? Because he's a dog. Uh, see that the monocle. So pretty. Guys, you're knocking it out of the park with these ones. So then there's um Lackhart the Rusted. Well I wonder who he is. Yes, he's the Tin Man. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Headsman's axe, blah, oh hello. Right. So what do we have here then? That is a mighty fine axe. Mighty fine axe. And again. Again, it's just very, very. Oh, look, you can see where the heart has been smashed out of the actual look himself. It's there. And again, it is a beautiful piece. Oh, it's a little heart medallion there, bless him. So he's probably a, a, a one of the automata, I would have thought. Uh, oh, he's originally a gentlefolk butler at the Guild of Harmony headquarters. Brush with death, take a shot in the chest from Bill Sykes during a raid by the Dickensians. Oh, 
Void of empathy or remorse since the incident, Lackhart's only interest now is in his morbid fascination with death. Dun dun dun. Ooh. That's going to be a fun one. Poor bugger. See, bloody Bill Sykes is a bastard. Don't like Bill Sykes. Don't like that big gun he runs around with, it scares me. Again, beautiful stuff. Really impressed. And the last one, which I think is just so fun, is Haystack. The Crow Scared. Hmm. His, uh, his origins remain a mystery. Found in a refuse dump by the guild arcanists, he's neither gentle folk nor human, but some strange algam 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 of both of them. Ooh. He's a dangerous foe, is he? Is he? Is he now? Is he now? Right. Let's have a little look then, shall we? So. Oh. Look, so this is all waste, that's waste, that's all waste. So we've got roboty section there. Oh, and one of his arms goes up and around the pole and then hangs down. Ew, a bit freaky, these have got to come off. All the little clockworky bits. But again, very little flash indeed. So that arm goes, where's that stick on? Ah, that sticks on there, with a bird on it. But you're not a very good scarecrow, are you? But the little, the little, little teeth on the old, ah, oh, they are, I might have said it before, but these are quite nice. And then there's the head. Oh, that's a very cheesy joker grin, that is. Again, it's you can see the the big robotic -y eyes, and the thing I do like about this is when you do put it together, the head is actually once it clicks in there, it's sticking out of the actual body, which is a little bit grisly, but again, it's a beautiful cast. That is truly superb casting so the guild of harmony oz faction so there they are in most of their aussie gloriness good eye that's a scary we can piss off don't you don't want you there you go and Lion Man. So, as usual, they've got that beautiful fairy tale look that you expect to have from the Twisted Miniatures because that's part of the whole background. Um, individual looking, yes, they so are. The new resin, however, I think is absolutely stunning. It really is beautiful. Wow. All I can say is well done guys, I am looking forward to getting these put together and getting them on the table. So, that's Haystack, Toto, Pascal de Lyon, uh, Lackhart, and Dorothy, there she is. So that's them characters. And then there's the two for the Egyptian lot, which are a little bit cunning and a little bit sneaky and a little bit... Ooh, Got some nice scenario ideas that they want to try with those ones. So there you go. That is a quick unboxing of the new faction bits from Twisted. If you haven't played this game yet, go give it a go. Because just looking at these minis, you know, these are some of the original ones. And they are beautiful. The, the, the sculpting work on them is amazing, you know, you've got to give the guys full credit because they are just stunning miniatures. They are they are a painter's dream. Ow. They really are beautiful. And if you haven't played the game yet, go give it a try. It's a nice little skirmish game that we do like. We have done a few videos for it. I think some of them are even up on their website. 
crazy people. Um, so next time, at some point, we will be playing Twisted again very, very soon. And I think we'll be taking out the Harmony guys and the Egyptian guys. So expect all, all kinds of weird shenanigans going on with that. And as usual, you know, go check them out. Uh, go buy stuff from them. That's the important thing, isn't it? Go buy stuff from them. They're beautiful miniatures. If you like painting your miniatures, these are painters' miniatures. They really are beautiful. Uh, that's it. That's Twisted. Go play it. Go buy it. Go buy all the stuff and go play it now. And as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you like and want to subscribe. If you don't like it and don't want to subscribe, you don't have to like and subscribe. We would like it if you liked and subscribe. And until next time, stay hammered. Do 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 do.